Good morning, everyone. Hope you are all doing great and happy Monday. Uh, you start your week in a good way and I hope you had a, a great weekend, you enjoyed your weekend. Uh, I typed the topic of discussion in the chat box, which is um, how to be noticed in the workplace. And I encourage all of you to turn your cameras on so we can start our uh, discussion properly. So uh, yeah, this topic actually came to my mind while, uh, while Linda and I was talking about how it's important for everyone to, you know, um, participate in work meetings and, uh, you know, make them, make other people to notice them. And I thought it's a good idea to talk about this and maybe it would be uh, beneficial for those who uh, who aren't trying to you know participate and uh, uh, share their thoughts and ideas uh, while we have meetings so uh, you know uh, I, I myself think that in this now now uh, in days and age that um you know, social medias are, uh, you know, uh, a, a big uh, change in everyone's life. It's important, I think, it's important that you have an um, ability to present yourself and make other people hear you and notice you. So, you know, um, uh, doing, your, doing your job and uh, doing your job perfectly have a good performance and uh, the quality of your uh, whatever you're doing is important. But I think the other thing that is important is the power and ability to present present it, present what you're doing, present yourself and um, you know make make other people to notice you and you know you, you uh, I think these days you have to make people uh, you know not um, mm, they cannot ignore you. Uh, I don't know if, if I, I make sense, but uh, I think uh, it's it's really important, and um, you have to work on your uh, presentation ability because you know I, I nowadays everyone is talking on social media about what they're doing and how they're doing it, and uh, if you if you manage to do whatever you are doing in silence, then uh, maybe. Mm, some ways to be more successful will be closed for you so uh, I think uh, it's it's good to talk about it and um, like like what we are what we are doing in Markel we have different meetings we have more morning meetings we have training and a uh, lot of these meetings and if if you manage not not to uh, participate not to uh, you know um talk in this meeting not to you know make other people uh see you notice you you maybe you uh, you will just uh do whatever you are doing in silence and no one uh, understands how how you are good at what you're doing so uh i think it's really important uh, you like for example in linkedin it's important for you to talk about uh, your achievements uh, what you have been doing which companies you're working for. I think all of this is really important for, for being successful in uh, your career. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, it's not only about your performance and uh, you need to have a good performance so you can present it. But um, the performance is not everything. You have to um, increase the quality of your uh, what. Mm, your career, what you're doing, you need to be updated and, uh, you know, always try different things and try to uh, um, kind of be innovative and creative, but you have to have that ability to talk about it, to make other people notice you and don't do everything in silence. I think it's really important. And in Morakel, uh, I think you have this chance to uh, do this, to present yourself. And um, I think one of the important things is to seek for feedbacks. Whatever you are doing, try to ask your seniors, your leader, uh, 
I've I've done these. Okay, what's your feedback? And uh, I think it's a good way that people no notice that you you are doing something great here, and uh, you need appreciation. You need to be noticed, and it's uh, you know if if you all do all of this in silence, then maybe no one is uh, uh, ever uh, notices you and understands how you're um, you're perfect in. Um, your tasks, your job, and uh, it's not a good thing, I think. And uh, participating in meetings in, is one thing. Um, I don't know, um, sharing um, your success, your um, news and, and your career on your social media, like LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, uh, these are the other things that I think are, are important. And maybe sometimes you uh, don't notice that. You know, especially especially for those who just started their career and just, uh, you know, uh, start working. But for example, when you are new in a company, how, how other people will uh, you know, notice you, how you will get promotions. But by, by uh, talking about yourself, by not being silent and uh, try to uh, make others notice you and uh, see how, how you are good at what you are doing, it's um, really important. For example, if if uh, as an example, if if Morley asks me if I I, I want to um, you know do do something, I need someone for this this task, and who you um, recommend? For example, uh, okay, uh, whoever I recommend, Morley will think, okay, what what do I know about this person? Have I ever uh, uh, see? Uh, seen him or her talking uh, I don't know and you know there there, there should be something that uh, that the this, uh, that uh, leader that uh, uh, senior uh, think that okay now I know who you are talking about and who is uh, the, the the person that uh, you are referring to you are recommending me and it's it's it you will push yourself and uh, by by doing this by being not visible and uh, being heard so uh, i think um, maybe some people are shy maybe uh, they are they are not good speakers uh, i don't know they 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 some, sometimes some people afraid of um um talking in public or anything but uh, you ha i think uh, as lots of skills that you are working on yourself that to, to achieve in your professional career, I think one of the other skill that you have to work on is this one is um, social communication, which is nowadays is really important, and uh, people will maybe even judge you by by that. So um, I don't know. Whatever you're doing, try to uh, make that uh, make that uh, noticeable. Try to present it in a good way and uh, I myself believe that now uh, presentation is everything and uh, if if uh, you do the best you are doing but in silence uh, you sometimes may not be noticed and sometimes you may well, you will not be in the in the place that you deserve to be so uh, it's important to uh, have that uh, positive attitude one of I think one of uh, the standards in Morakel, and when we are saying positive attitude, it means that uh, you approach every situation with an open mind, with a positive mind, and uh, kind of a can-do attitude that you can do something, and you have to stay optimistic. You have to uh, uh, stay uh, resilient and. Uh, uh, be open to challenges and uh, setbacks so uh, they they sh shouldn't um, be disappointed by them and um, having this positive attitude help you to uh, do whatever you, you are doing uh, with a positive mind and then you will feel a um, lot good more good about it to uh, talk about it to uh, present it and I think that's that's uh, what will uh, help you uh, um, achieve whatever goal you, you have. 
So I think it's it's an important topic to talk about, and uh, I I would like to hear all of your thoughts and ideas about this. And I don't know if if anyone is uh, having you know an um, opposite uh, idea of what I'm saying. You are welcome to join, but um, yeah, I think that it's important nowadays to be noticed, to present yourself, and the don't do whatever you are doing in silence. So, uh, anyone wants to go ahead and share their thoughts about this topic, which is how to be noticed in workplace, just uh, go ahead and share. Thank you. Hi, Shapade. Hello, Hi, everyone. Hi. I I hope everyone had a good weekend. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so how to be noticed in the workplace? I think it's really important, like uh, whatever you are working on in your workplace or organization, even if you are a good employee and like doing whatever you uh, like, whatever you have been assigned to. Uh, but it's really important that you uh, communicate that to others, like show to others, like whatever you are capable of how good you are at work it's like uh, even if uh, like uh, some people might be shy and they uh, like try not to show or they might think like i am doing my uh, work good i am like delivering uh, really good at work and my seniors know it but uh, even then like uh, other people don't know it uh, like whatever people you have in your network they don't know about it how well you deliver or how excellent you are at your work so if you want to know that with those people as well and to grow your network and to have more opportunities come your way, you should be able to like advertise or like uh, show other people what you are doing currently, what do you know and how well you deliver at this. So for that, like just step it I mentioned in your social media, especially LinkedIn, you can like daily, uh, like you can frequently post there what you are working on, what you have been uh, recently learning, uh, like where are you working, which events you are joining. And especially uh, like in the workplace, uh, like there must be some extracurricular activities must be going on or like even if uh, like there are work-related presentations for meetings going on. So if you want to be noticed and uh, uh, to by other people and to show them what you are working on, you uh, you should participate in those meetings and like uh, be proactive in sharing your thoughts or your opinions. What do you think about uh, whatever the meeting is about or the whatever the presentation is? And along with that, uh, instead of just uh, doing and uh, uh, completing your task, whatever has been given to you, you can do more than that. Like whatever, whatever has been assigned to you, instead of being like asked from you, like, uh, can you do this or could you please do that? Instead of that, you could show the other person like, uh, I'm already doing this and I can do more than that as well. So uh, I think uh, if you show that kind of uh, excitement or that kind of, uh, uh, what could I say? Uh, like you show the initiative of doing the work. Instead, uh, Like uh, even the work is given to you before the work is given to you. That shows like uh, you are like, that's how people will notice you. Oh, like that person is doing really good work and he's like, he goes, he or she goes even out of her way to do the work. So that's how people in your network, at your workplace, they will notice you. And like they will, uh, in the future, if they come around some opportunity or like if there is some kind of new project or new opportunities going on, they will definitely consider you. Because you no, know, like uh, you are always in the back of their mind. Oh, like that person is really active. Uh, that person is like really uh, excited and uh, about the new opportunities and always the first one to grab on the such opportunities. So that's how we can get noticed in the workplaces. And also along with that, uh, what could I say? Uh, you can be like uh, for notice, uh, you can participate in the meetings, you can show on the social media. Uh, if I uh, take an example, like uh, why we need to like uh, show for the people and show what we are doing. It. Uh, it's if you can take an example, like uh, there is the same kind of food, but its plating is different. Like a uh, same food is uh, uh, served to you in two different plates. One is like presented really well, and its its plating is done really well, and the other plate, the food is just poured into it, and it was uh, it's not presented well or it's not showing that well. So if you are a third party or person, you, if you see both the plates, which plate you are going to look at, which plate are you going to first taste? The one that is presented really well, that looked really well. So that's how it is with our work as well. So uh, like if you can, uh, like I know like uh, most of the people do their work 
really well but if they don't present it uh, self like really well they don't show it to the other well like they don't tell themselves or uh, the other like uh, how good i am at work they won't be like uh, they won't know how good you are work. so i think that's really important to tell other people and uh, to be get noticed in the workplace so i think yeah that's my contribution thank you sabide thank you everyone thank you ritika thank you for your contribution yes uh... I believe that uh, nowadays uh, soft skills are uh, as important as the other skills. So you have to work on uh, your um, communication skills. And uh, sometimes I think maybe it's about you think maybe you're wrong and you, you, you are afraid to share, uh, share what your opinion is. But uh, it's important to know that there is no wrong and right. So you, it's your opinion you can share and you know we can talk about it and anyone who uh, doesn't uh, agree with you you can talk about it and it's it's you shouldn't be afraid if, if you are uh, you are making a mistake or your opinion is wrong so I think that's that's another point that is important thank you Ritika for your contribution yes Marla you can go ahead. Good morning everyone. Good Hi. morning. Everyone. Yeah, uh, yeah, what I would like to say is like in the workplace, whatever you do, generally you can be noticed. For example, the negative side of it, let me say if someone is always coming late or joining in late, he or she will be noticed because of that lateness, right? Or the positive side, yeah, it is good right like we are saying to contribute during discussion i mean to take correction if you are not doing the right thing these are the positive side right and to be talking or doing your work effectively these are all good indication that obviously you will be noticed but what i would like to say is like being noticed, taking action for being noticed, we have to do it with precaution. In a sense, if we're in a session that like I know something, I want to contribute because I know I want to contribute. I think within myself, I should like give, try to give other people opportunity to say something. It's like not always being in the rush, the hurried noise, like giving your colleague opportunity to say something, right? Or even in terms of correcting others, like you've noticed uh, Sepidi or Akash is doing the, not on the right track or doing the right thing. Instead of I just bump into him where they have colleagues around and say, oh, you are not doing the wrong thing. I think it will be good to engage your coworker on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Like, oh, I notice A, B, and C, so he can correct it without being like you you forcing yourself to be noticed by like correcting your colleague maybe on the wrong manner or not at the right place, uh, right? Yeah. Then also, I believe. You should even take precaution in the way. I mean, we we are we are carrying on our duties. Like, I want my boss to notice me. So what I would do is like whatever thing they say, I would just make as if, oh yes, I know it. I want to do it. I will do it. No, it's like sometimes you will you will pretend to go slow so that you will be you will be learned or taught new skills. Right. Other than if every day you just bump up and say, oh, yes, I will do this fast, fast because I want to be noticed. Then by so doing, sometimes you will be making mistakes because you are always in a worry. Then also some supervisors or some co-worker based on experience will say, ah, who is this person? I think he's so bossy or he wants to come. I mean, people will have their own way of interpreting it. So we have to be like caution when we are trying to be noticed at the workplace. But generally, it is good to be noticed based on all what other speakers have said here. Yeah. 
That's thank my you for life. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Yes, it's important to take your time and think about what you want to uh, say. Don't rush it. But uh, and try to do it right when you want to share your opinion, when you want to share your thoughts and think about it and uh, don't rush it. But and at the end, you have to do what's right and, and you know, do what you think is right, but uh, in a, respect, a respectful way and in a good way. So thank you. Thank you for uh, that, that, the thing you shared. So anyone else wants to go ahead and share? Uh, morning, Sophie. Morning, everyone. Yeah. I hope everyone is doing well. We had a good weekend. Um, yeah, as 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 you were introducing this topic, you actually reminded me of something. Um, in uni, um, I have an IT background, and we used to do a lot of uh, projects, uh, together as a team. Like you all, you would always be grouped in maybe groups of five. Um, so people would do like certain projects, maybe every semester, one or two. Yeah. So, you know, every time when you have to do work in a group, um, there's always that maybe two people who are actually uh, doing the actual work. And then there is, you know, the other who are not like doing the work. Yeah. So you reminded me because there was this um very interesting guy that we had in our group and um, you'd not see him around when you're having discussions for the work and you know he would come like last minute maybe maybe like when we have like a presentation and he would come and he would say okay explain to me explain to me you know what <laughs> what you've been doing and when it comes to the time to present to the lecturer this guy would be so active like, he, like anything the lecturer would that he knew he would be the first person to give an answer. And it would be so shocking that sometimes you'd find that he would have more marks than the people who actually did the work or even the same marks just because he would not sit and, you know, keep quiet <laughs> when they asked something. And yet maybe the people who actually did the work, you know, uh, sometimes like programmers, you know, they are very shy. They're just into their computers. They just want to do the work. And when it comes to presentation, they might be um a bit quiet. Yeah. And I actually think wherever this guy is must be a really good businessman because he was so when it comes to the lecturer, he'll just get so active. Yet you've been looking for him the entire, <laughs> entire semester, you know, you wouldn't even know. Like could just know, oh, you know, there's this person who is a uh, part of our our group, but then like of course would communicate that oh, we're having presentations the next day. And that day he would come, he's so active and, you know, he will just grab what he can um, uh, grasp in those last uh, few hours before you present. And, you know, at that moment, you might think that this guy has really, really been active, you know, just because of his, you know, being active before the lecturer. And, you know, what's important is to be, um, <laughs> the important part is actually the lecturer. It's not really the person who was doing the work this entire time so he was really you know a shrewd guy <laughs> in uni and yeah you know at the end of the day we all wanted to 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 excel and he did excel you know in those in those um uh, in those projects so you've just reminded me that you know like this is you know he would just get easily noticed because he was that uh, you know he was just that smart to know the right time okay to show up yeah so i think it's 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 just something to understand that even when you're really really good um at something and you mentioned something stupid that you know these days even having soft skills are actually important like leadership communication being able to do presentations they're equally as important and actually having the technical um, um skills yeah so i just wanted to give just a little example, yeah, to just um kind of put it in perspective that yeah, it's, um sometimes it's important to really be noticed when it actually matters. Yeah. Thank you, Tepidi. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for your contribution and that example. Yeah. So you see how the the uh, ability to present is important. So you may have done everything and not 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 like, like that guy, but you actually done something. 
you uh, you are you are you are actually skilled and uh, do whatever you you were supposed to do, but uh, you have also the power to present it. So that's the the combination is what make you successful. I think. Thank you for that. I don't know if anyone else wants to add to this topic. Uh, you're more than welcome. Yeah, good morning. Uh, I just want to add on just a little bit on what you've said. Thank you very much. Wonderful discussion. Uh, my experience is when I was starting out, um, I'm kind of rushing this because time is running out. Um, I, uh, I would be given an assignment and I would try to work it my own way. Sometimes they'd give me dead, uh, sorry guidelines, but uh, I would try to do it my own way, a different way, which I thought maybe would be quick. And uh, it would take me forever, but then I would get to whatever I wanted to get to, or sometimes I don't even get it properly. And now this is the advice I was given. Probably <laughs> it can help out when you are especially starting out. This gentleman told me that do as you are told, you'll never go wrong. So this only happens when you are starting out. When you are starting out and they give you guidelines, just follow those guidelines. You cannot go wrong that way. Even if they are wrong, the other person is like, okay, this is what you asked me to do. After you've gained your experience, then you can start doing your other things uh, the way you want them, or if you've worked out quicker ways of doing things. And then the other thing which uh, I just want to add on is, um, if you want to be noticed, you can be noticed negatively, like uh, Mola said. So again, we try to be uh, noticed positively. So do your work, do you work positively, do it nicely. You excel in what you've been asked to do. We, we Somehow somebody, someone will notice that this person really does this thing really well. Maybe we can give them even more. Uh, meet your deadlines, uh, come up with the solutions. Not only issues, uh, so oh, there's a problem here, there's a problem there, there's, this is not working there. But come with the problem, fine, but with the solution as well. Those are things to get you noticed. Uh, share knowledge, because everybody is from maybe a different background and different experiences. So if you share what you have or what you know, um, again, somehow you're going to get noticed and in a positive way. Um, communication. Communicate effectively, yeah, precisely, clarity. All those things, uh, whether you're writing a little report or speaking to people, put yourself in a <clears throat> in a state which which you would want to be put into. Don't be vague, be precise. <laughs> Again, that really, really helps. And in the end, what this does, the advantages, there's so much career advancement there, there's promotions, uh, uh, recognition uh, in places where they recognize you like every month or at the end of the year uh, the, and then it gives you a, a increased the responsibility if you are noticed and you are doing really well so you are likely to become maybe a leader and uh, influence other people uh, it helps with your job security as well because everybody wants somebody who's doing work perfectly and doing it really well so you become a valued employee and uh, uh, then it comes to the compensation as well. You are likely to get a bit more money because uh, if you say, okay, well, this is what you're paying me and this is what I do. M maybe I'll find somebody else who is paying me even more. Then uh, no more I talk so of uh, try to be, uh, not to be replaced, you know, uh, about the compensation. So whatever you do, if you are doing it really, really well, it's going to be difficult to be replaced. And so again, how does it come about? Because you are noticed, because you are doing really well, you are working hard, you are collaborating with all your colleagues. Um, yeah, that's all I can work on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for your contribution. Yes, you were talking about if you are being noticed, you, your uh, responsibility will increase and people will depend on you maybe more. So I think first you have to be clear with yourself, with your uh, goals and see, okay, what what uh, do, do I want to achieve? Do I want to uh you know um be a leader do you want to uh, promote in whatever i'm doing and then try to then present yourself in a good way so yeah be clear with yourself with your goals set set those goals uh um with uh 
deep, deeply thinking and then uh, go for it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, everyone, for your contributions. I think we can end our discussion for today. And thank you, everyone, for uh, listening and participating and hope you uh, start a great week.